Okay, so let's continue. In the previous video, we talked about HDLC, which is quite uh, a simple uh, protocol that integrates all the things that we discussed about the functions of uh, data link control. Now, in this video, we will talk about the point-to-point -point protocol or PPP, which is another uh, data link control protocol, which is actually widely used, especially in dial-up connections. So, it says here that point-to-point -point protocol is used in home computers connecting to ISPs. Uh, I don't know if you've ever used a dial-up connection before, but uh, normally, uh, during the early days, uh, we don't have uh, DSLs or PLDT or Globe. Uh, we usually connect to an ISP using a dial-up modem and the connection uh, uh, protocol used to connect, let's say, uh, a laptop to an ISP is via the point-to-point -point protocol. And it, the connection is done through the telephone line. So what happens is I have a computer, uh, I have a modem, I connect the modem to the serial port of my uh, CPU okay? and then I pull out the plug from my telephone line from my telephone and then uh, attach the, the cable or the, the line to the telephone line to the modem and then dial a certain number and then point-to-point -point protocol will kick in. Uh, unlike the HDLC, which is a bit-oriented uh, protocol, uh, PPP is a byte-oriented protocol and it's the most common data link layer protocol usually for dial-up connections. Now, what are the services provided by uh, PPP? Uh, the format of the frame, uh, how two devices negotiate a link, the establishment of uh, uh, the link. Okay. Uh, it also defines how the network layer data are encapsulated in the data link frame. It defines how two devices authenticate each other and provides connection over multiple links and provides network address configuration. So basically these are the services. But we'll, we'll get into the details of this uh, in the succeeding slides. Uh, what are missing in PPP? PPP does not have uh, flow control, so it does not have the things like go back N or ARQ. Uh, it uses other protocols for that. A very simple mechanism for error control using CRC. Does not provide sophisticated addressing mechanism to handle frames in a multi-point configuration. So the main strength basically is for point-to-point -point, uh, connections. Uh, this is the format of a uh, PPP frame. So again, you have the flag to uh, mark the start and end of a frame. Then you have the address field, control field, the protocol, the payload, and the frame check sequence or the CRC. Now the flag field is this 01111110, which is treated as a byte. And uh, the address is a broadcast address. Okay, so all ones, and uh, a control field is set as this, this is not needed. The protocol uh, that describes the payload, okay, so it defines what's being held in the payload, and the payload is the user data or control information, and you have the frame check sequence, and uh, there is, of course, since this is a byte-oriented uh, protocol, then it implements byte stuffing. So we usually need to have a specific uh, escape character. So this is the escape character for, uh, for PPP. So that when a flag occurs in the payload, it can be escaped using this uh, value. So this is the transition uh, phase for PPP. So initially the line is dead. Uh, as I mentioned a while ago, when you connect the telephone line to the modem, then uh, the carrier will be detected and it will try to establish a connection. If uh, the establishment requires authentication, it will go to this uh, state. If not, it will go to this state. Uh, 
then you have the network uh, configuration and then uh, the connection is now open and then eventually terminate the connection and then uh, the state now becomes dead so the beauty of BPP is that it can uh, accommodate different types of payload which can be uh, from both the data link layer or within the data link layer or from the network layer as shown here uh, in case of the in the case of the data link layer payload it has several options uh, you have the LCP uh, you have authentication pro these are link configuration protocol this is for authentication protocol uh, this is network control protocol which can be uh, placed in the payload and the protocol field specifies the type of the payload so for LCP the value here will be C021 for uh, for CHAP or POP or uh, for POP for example you have C023 here etc etc so in case the payload is LCP so the purpose of LCP is link configuration so this will be the content so C021 and the payload will be uh, some information about the state of the link okay, so I mentioned a while ago that PPP is quite limited when it comes to uh, link management so it can use the link control protocol for link management and this will be the payload and this will be the interpretation of this payload for example uh, it says here you have the code the first uh, field of the LC LCP packet is the code so this will be the values possible values of the code and this will be the type of the packet and the description which are all used for configuring the link okay so example uh, uh, request to shut down the line okay so after establishing a connection you can shut down the line by sending this lcp packet uh, marked by this particular code now uh, PPP also supports authentication via the use of other protocols so as I mentioned you have uh, two authentication protocols uh, pop and chop okay uh, the first one is pop password authentication protocol so the value of the protocol field is 0 C023 and the payload will be something like this so the flow is that the user will send an authenticate request to the target system and then if the authenticate request is successful it can uh, the system will send an authenticate app or an authenticate map so this is the format of the authentication request code 1 id length use username length and the username and the password length so these are variable size uh, fields uh, the size of course is determined by this field value which is one byte uh, for the authentic authenticate app so this will be the format of the payload for nana this will be the format okay very simple now another authentication protocol is chap so this one uh, compared to pop our in you only send uh, as long as the user knows the username and the password and is sent to the system and the system has a record of that username and password then the user can be authenticated now a more complex approach will be a challenge handshake authentication approach so you call this chap so the the system will send a challenge to the user and uh, the user will send a response to that challenge and uh, based on the response of the user the system will indicate uh, to the user whether the authentication was successful or not so this will be the format of the value of the protocol field will be c223 and for the challenge this will be the uh, format of the payload so you have code one id length the challenge length, the challenge value the name and then you have the response and then suc if successful or uh, uh, failure if success or failure then this will be the format of the payload now in addition to uh, in addition to uh, this uh, two operation LCP and AP which all belong to still belong to the data link layer for the network control protocol uh, PPP can support several uh, types 
and one of that is the internet con uh, protocol control protocol so these are some of the uh, uh, code that can be used in the IPCP IPCP protocol okay so again this is another payload but the protocol value is something like this then usually uh, if you want during the early days if you want to connect to the internet so the internet uses the internet protocol so this is what happens so the internet protocol is in the network layer so it can be piggybacked to the or it can be a payload in the uh, PPP frame so you have the uh, the, the code is 0021, hex 0021, and this will be the payload, the IP header, and the user data. So, you use the PP, that's why at home, even when you use the telephone line, you can still connect to the uh, internet during the early days. So, uh, in the late 90s, for example, at home, uh, I want to access my Yahoo mail, or I want to search uh, using Yahoo, so I perform, uh, I power up my modem, uh, power on my computer, connect the telephone line to the modem, and then dial up, and then I will be given an IP address, and my computer will be given an IP address, and that IP address will allow me to connect to the internet and search using Yahoo. During the early days, uh, we still use Yahoo for, for searching. So here's an example uh, flow. So the user in the system, so initially the user will send a, a PPP frame. So you have the uh, uh, link connection protocol, okay? link control protocol for the establishment of the link parameters. So this is, will be the options and then if successful, okay? And then uh, the authentication using PAP, okay. uh, send the authentication request if successful. And then this one is for uh, network data transfer. Okay, so that basically ends the discussion on point-to-point uh, -point protocol. So to summarize, this chapter talked about these things. A review of the functional data link layer, describe, describe how frames are created, uh, describe the different protocols for flow and error control, and the operation of actual data link layer protocols, HDLC and PPP were discussed.